Greetings fellow men, Servus Männer, this is Red Pill Germany again and the topic that I want to be covering today is the state of affairs of the police in large German cities or more precisely the recruits that they're getting now. Now the articles that are linked and the event that uh, sparked this discussion took place in Berlin of course but it could be the same or the same could be said I am very sure uh, about larger cities uh, in uh, western or northern uh, parts of Germany like in Cologne or Hamburg or Bremen Frankfurt maybe so what has happened is that an audio file was recorded and finally has gotten into the hands of journalists who published it in this audio file an instructor a teacher of Berlin police recruits was talking about what he had experienced in a class that he has just taught. The instructor describes in that audio recording that a major part of the recruits were uh, foreign, that means clearly foreign looking, African or Middle Eastern, that they almost couldn't talk German, they couldn't express themselves in German, they were either sleeping or very aggressive, fighting among each other, intimidating other classmates, and uh, were overall very aggressive and also very impolite. Now he said that many people in Berlin's police force are actually afraid of these people because they seem to be coming from actually criminal families and they have prior offenses. He actually becomes that clear in his language that he says that these people are not colleagues, they are the enemies within our own ranks. This is a pretty clear statement. Many people might say that this is a harsh statement. I think it's an obvious statement. So I think that it's pretty safe to say that in five years, um, if the rate of migrant uh, recruits stays as high as it is right now, in five years there won't be a German police anymore in these cities. There will not be a police anymore. There will be people wearing uniforms of the Berlin police force, but the people in the uh, uniforms are not Germans nor are they policemen. The speakers of the police say that it's so important that we also have people who have this intercultural competence, who speak the language of the uh, communities that they need to police, but they forget in that process that not only language skills and intercultural competence is, is important, first and foremost a policeman must protect and enforce the law. These people don't even know the law, and if they know it, they actually break the law because they are criminals. They come from criminal families, from criminal communities. And these uh, gangster families, they send their unemployed, good-for-nothing boys uh, to join the Berlin police force so that they could warn them maybe in the future or sort them out with something, you know, when they confiscate drugs. <laughs> Where do those drugs go? To their uncles, of course. So now, thanks to Michael Stürzenberger from the website uh, Politically Incorrect, even me as someone who doesn't follow the daily politics in the state of Berlin and knows now who is responsible for that. The vice president of um, the Berlin police is actually in charge of the recruitment process. And who is she? She is a lesbian Green Party feminist woman <laughs> who wants actually to become the president of the Berlin police force. So it is not like um, the policemen and women in Berlin are just retarded. It is that this woman who was actually born in, and I couldn't have made it up any better, was born in North Rhine-Westphalia and then moved by the end of the 80s to Berlin. Um, she studied uh, law and then uh, worked in the administration actually. Uh, she has no police background whatsoever. She never worked a day in her entire life. She just uh, did some government uh, administration work. Uh, this is not work, right? And uh, she has no connection with the police. Uh, she studied law and is a communist basically. And it is clear now that uh, not physical fitness or how well you know the law or um, if you are a good patriot or any of these things um, are important when Berlin is looking for new recruits. No, diversity quotas are important. 
And not only that, intercultural competence becomes an asset now when you want to apply for a career in the Berlin police. And this article shows clearly that not even the instructors at the academy there uh, can change this. Yeah? The recruits are just selected by these um, new warped and twisted uh, selection criteria and then these are the recruits that are to be turned into police officers. And even when they're criminal, they're, they will not be fired. They will not be let go. They will become police officers in Berlin. They could, we all know how this is going to end. There are many places in Germany that are not like that. And um, there has been a Berlin Wall before. And there will be another kind of Berlin Wall. Just this wall will not divide Berlin or go through Berlin. No, it will go around Berlin. It is the slum of Germany. So let this serve as a warning to all you guys out there that gender or race quotas or diversity is never the answer. It is the problem. And I don't want my police force to be diverse. I want my police force to respect and enforce the law and to protect the citizens. Uh, these young recruits that this gentleman who recorded the audio file spoke about, they are criminals themselves. They do not respect anything, it seems, and they will certainly not enforce the German law. They will actually collaborate with the criminal elements and the uh, terrorist Mohammedans in the capital, and they will literally become, like he said, the enemies within our ranks, the enemies behind our walls. And when you think of the kind of wall that I just talked about, I think they should be the enemy behind our wall. Yes. <laughs> so I say that this will just lead to more white flight from these uh, city centers. Uh, they will not only be uh, harassed by these criminal foreigners, they will now be policed by criminal foreigners. So that will just um, amplify this whole effect, accelerate the whole process, and maybe in 5 or 10 years we can actually build the Berlin Wall. Alright, enjoy the rest of your day, and as always, Servus Kameraden!